In the Hypixel Skyblock Rift, there are seven areas that give time charms, with the hardest and most endgame of those areas being the Stilgor Chateau. This is the most endgame area of the Rift due to the fact that it's the only area where you can spawn the Rift Stalker Blood Fiend, also known as Vampire Slayer. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fully beat this endgame area as well as giving some tips for Vampire Slayer. My name is Nyambi, let's go. Now as I said in the intro, this guide is going to go over the Stilgor Chateau. If you have not yet unlocked the Stilgor Chateau, I would recommend watching Yachty's guide slash walkthrough video. He goes over pretty much the entire rift in extreme detail, and it's the guy I used to get up to this point. Now, there are a few requirements to actually getting into the Stilgore Shat 2. First of all, you need to have completed Reed's entire quest. Make sure you've given him all of this stuff that he asks for. Once you've given him that stuff, he can offer you a boat for 25,000 moats. Go ahead and buy that boat. Once you've bought that boat, come to the village plaza. Now, to get into the Stilgore Shat 2, you have to have the Globly Time Charm because you have to go through Barrier Street. If you do have that, that's good though. Just come through here. You can take a look at these auctions if you want. They're nothing big. You want to come over here to Phaser. Phaser is going to offer you 150,000 moats to skip the parkour or you can do your parkour yourself personally i did the parkour myself it's not really that hard but if you have extreme lag and high ping and all of those nice excuses you can go ahead and pay 150,000 moats for it i'm just gonna skip over once you're over here talk to deer and deer will want you over make sure you have the rift boat in your inventory and congratulations you now entered the still gore shed too there is one thing which i forgot to mention when you're over here with deer you can come into this house and go up to the second story and there should be a montezuma soul right here just forgot to mention that now once you're over here you can talk to maddox He's gonna send you on like a quest to get like some sort of healing melon. You just gotta kill some vampires and get these vampiric melons to craft this healing melon. Vampires you have to kill are called thralls and they look sort of like that. Now once you've done Maddox's quest to unlock Vampire Slayer, I would recommend you follow the current path. First come up here, keep going forward and take a right between these two big rocks. Just jump down here and there should be an eye over here that you want to kill. This eye is called the Prince and it is the final eye that you can unlock. This eye will allow you to teleport directly from the Wizard Tower to the Stilgore Chateau. Extremely useful. Now, in the Stilgore Chateau, you can also find the final variant of the Crux mob. They're called Splatters. In my opinion, they're not even that hard to kill. All you gotta do is hit them a few times and you're gonna deal a lot of your health. Now, your health will be scattered. Oh god, there's another one there. Your health will be scattered around and it's going to look like these red hearts on the ground. All you got to do to pick them back up is walk over them like that. These splatters drop splatter cruxes, which you can use to craft the crux chromicon. And there's also one more use for them, which I'll get into later in the video. Another thing you need to do in the rift is disable your health bar. Make sure you have the vanilla hearts because otherwise you'll not be able to see your true health. Now there's one last quest you want to embark on before trying Vampire Slayer, and that is getting all the Enigma Souls. You're going to want to have 42 out of 42 Enigma Souls. I'll start with two up here. These are somewhat hard Enigma Souls to get. The first one is up there. You can get it with Larva Silk. If you're wondering where I am, the entrance is right there. You just come up these stairs and the Enigma Souls are right there. In addition to that, you can come up this tower, follow it all the way to the top, and talk to this fairy philosopher. She'll sell you an Enigma Soul for 10,000 moats and 32 of these Splatter Cruxes. There's also one more down this area, but it's a rather hard one to get. Here's that enigma soul you come over here maddox is down there there should be a flower pot right here just keep pressing these flower pots and it will lead you to another enigma soul keep in mind you are going to have to do some relatively hard parkour for this part you'll eventually get teleported down here you'll have to do parkour all around this pillar and then you'll jump down to this part you'll run the flower pots through here and there will be enigma soul right here you'll just work to not here and then you're back now for some easy enigma souls there's supposed to be a flea spook right here if you don't know what a flea spook is you just have to follow it it's going to go up on some trees, up on some buildings, and it will lead you to an enigma soul in this tree over here somewhere. All you have to basically do is follow it. The next one is over here with these balloons. My coordinates are 230, 92, 159. Basically, just grab this blow gun and shoot the balloons. Once all the balloons are gone, the animal will drop down in the chest and reveal an enigma soul. The last one you can find is if you come over here and drop down between these cracks right here. You come into this area and there should be an enigma soul right here. That's all the enigma souls in this area. On to Vampire Slayer we go. Now to start your Vampire Slayer quest, talk to Maddox the Slayer, and let's just start with the easy tier 1. You have to just do tier 1s until you can get the Holy Ice. Your only healing item so far will be this healing million that you have, and just kill some of these thralls. I think you gotta kill about 10 of them. Also, you can do tier 1 with just about any gear. I would recommend getting the Cork Seraphine Mask, the Orange Chest Plate, Femur Growth Leggings, and Snake in a Boot. That should be your armor when attempting Vampire Slayer. That armor will eventually be upgraded though as you do more and more. Alright, this is the last mob before I spawn, and here's the boss. It's a pretty easy thing. 
all you gotta do is just hit the boss a bit and it will eventually go into this one phase when it goes to this phase all you gotta do is stand on these green blocks you can also use your healing melon when you get low on health and once that phase is over the boss will just be at around 200 health and you should be able to kill it really easily when you hear that sound cue, you need to swap to your holy ice. Just like before, you gotta stand on the green stuff in this area. See, there's that sound cue again. I'm gonna swap to my holy ice about halfway through it. It's also gonna spawn some claw guides or whatever the name is. You can kill them pretty easily. It's not that hard. You also do this. You can just stand in the middle of this until you hear a sound cue. That little sound cue right there, and you gotta move away. Here's the sound cue again. Just gotta splash my face with holy ice and heal a bit, and I should be able to kill it easily. That's pretty much a tier two. Because I'm feeling lazy right now, I'm actually not gonna do the tier three, but I will explain the mechanics. It's pretty much just like the tier two. This time you'll have something called impels. Impels are stuff like click up, click down, jump, or sneak. It's pretty simple, just do what it says. If it says click up, you have to click all the way up, and if it says click down, you have to click all the way down. For gear, you're gonna want the silver lace karambit, definitely holy ice, an anti-bite scarf, preferably. A steak steak if you wanna, you don't need it. A juicy healing melon, and that should be about everything you're supposed to need. For the tier four, it's just like the tier three other than it does more damage. In addition to that, you'll have to do impels more often as well. For tier four, I would recommend leggings of the coven, the silver twist karambit, a luscious healing melon, anti-bite scarf, and an optional weirder tuba. Another thing you can do if you have trouble surviving is come talk to Enigma and she'll let you upgrade your cloak. Upgrade this as much as you can because it will give you mana regen, which is extremely good for healing. Now, if you want to attempt a tier five, you're going to need pretty much max gear. That includes getting this chest plate, okay? I know it's such a grind, but you have to get it. Personally, I can't actually defeat a tier five, but I'm extremely close to doing it. So yeah, that was the guy for the Stilgore Shat 2. I hope you guys were able to learn something. I'll see you guys in the next one.